All right, so we're gonna do the first part. We're gonna set up a uh, new project and it's gonna be for our uh, class, uh, in-class render project, our final project for in-class. So I went ahead and just created a brand new project. There's nothing done to it, it has nothing installed. So I'm gonna start by creating a new folder and I'm gonna make sure I do it here instead of inside of the EMV. I'm just gonna say create new directory and I'm gonna call it app. And you'll notice the app folder does not have a dot in it. But inside the app folder, I'm going to create a new Python file, and it's going to be underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, dot py. And notice when I do that, um, it's going to say add. And I don't think I have a git associated with this yet. So um, let's go ahead and add it and see if it if it will recognize where that's going to. I'm, I actually haven't gone through and uh, created a project for it. So... Anyway, we'll figure that out. Maybe it's just local Git, and I haven't actually put it on GitHub yet. So notice this app actually has the dot in here now. That means that it's working, okay? Now, on the outside of my app, still up here, I'm going to say new file, Python file, and I'm going to call it uh, app.py. And again, I'm going to say don't ask again and just add it. So now it's going to add all of them. And then I'm going to open up that and... Um, inside that I'm going to just type in from app import app and then if name main app run debug and I like the debug true debug true is going to say let it debug um, locally when I run flask okay so that right there is good now I need to go into my init and make some changes in the init. So let's open up the init file, which is here. And inside init, we're going to put some stuff that will uh, help initialize the whole app altogether. All right, let's see how that works. All right, we're going to go from flask import flask and then we're going to say app equals whoa equals flask name and then we're going to say from app import routes okay now let's talk about that just for a second this route it needs to be a file so we're going to come down here to app new python file and call it routes.py okay um, so that fixes that, but this here from Flask import Flask is a library. So if I come over here, Python packages, and I go Flask, it should let me install Flask. And I'll just take the highest one and let it do the install, which is actually going pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't need to use the pro version of this. Okay, and then once it does that, it'll update all the libraries, it'll get everything going, and then that will go away. Okay. Um, at this point, we don't have any routes, so we won't actually do anything, right? But um, at this point, that's working. So what we want to do is go down to our terminal and see that it's actually working inside the virtual environment. So this is our virtual environment. So you'll notice here is it is over here in parentheses, meaning the virtual environment is in working and that's what you're logged into. We want to do a pip freeze uh, greater than and then do a requirements dot txt and hit enter and it's going to build a requirements document that has not uh it's brand new so if i open it up it just basically says this is all the stuff that's been installed okay so i'm going to close that and i'm going to go to my git and i'm going to add that so that it's green so i want to be able to push that up okay all right so i have my init i have my routes i have my app now um and app and init are now done so i can close those and now I just need to work on my routes. Okay, so I'm going to look and we're going to grab routes. And in the routes, we're going to do something like from uh, flask import. Now, this is all the stuff that we're going to use here. And notice that it already tries to tell me import flask, render template, request, redirect, URL 4, and so forth. I'm just going to do render template because that's going to be the one we're going to use. Okay, and we're going to go at app route and instead of hello we're going to just do 
um, just just like basic um, if you go to the actual home page. So we'll call it index and we will just take the default what it tells us. Okay. I also want to make sure I go from app import app so that this app right here will work. Okay. So, all right. Now let's do it again and this time for about. And it already kind of, it hears me talking about it. So it's going to go ahead and say do it for about. Um, it will define the about. It will define the about. And it will write all the code for me. And we'll do the same thing for contact. Okay. Um, I'll let it do its thing. There's contact. Okay. Now, because I have these three, I'm going to want to create a new folder. Now, this, the way this is set up, if I click here and I say new directory, it has to be called templates with an S and it needs to be actually inside the app folder. Okay. So I'm going to put that right in there and say, yes, refractor. It needs to be inside app. It needs to be called templates and in templates we'll have the three files index about and contact. So I'm going to create a new HTML file and it's just going to be called index.html. And then I'll do it again and we'll just say, um, about dot html and we'll do the last one as um, contact dot html okay all right now those are all done and i could probably put in the body something like uh p um we won't call it diy money that was one of my old ones we'll just call this um this is the contact page i like it okay and we'll come down here p and let it do its thing uh this is the about us page and with the index we can just say this is the home page okay all right, so all those are done, everything's done, and now we're gonna go ahead and connect this um, up to the render server and get that working. So we're gonna stop here. This basically shows you exactly how to get it uh, configured and working, okay? Um, we also need to install Gunicorn. So I'm gonna come down here, Gunicorn's one of the other ones that we need, so pip install Gunicorn, okay? So I'm gonna run that, it's gonna install it, and remember, I just installed a package, so I need to do a pip free. So if I hit the up arrow twice, it will it will override what I just put into that the requirements document. We look at it. Gunicorn is now there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to close all these down. And I can test my whole project right now. I can just come right down here, and I could say python app.py, and it's going to run. And if I click this button here, it's going to open up in a, a browser and I could test it locally. Notice it says debug mode is on. So if there's an error, it will throw the error. All right. So you'll notice that it, I just hit, I just clicked the button and this popped up. It says it's 127.0.0.15000. Okay. What that means is this is a local web server running off of the Flask app. So this is locally running off Flask. Okay. Um, if I go forward slash at the end about, it will take us to the about page. And if I go to contact, it will take us to the contact page. And if I don't put anything, it will take us back to the home page. Okay. If I go back over here, that notice it went to all three pages. I just clicked on it. I keep, keeps a log of it, but this 127 means it's a local host. Okay. Local host means it's running on the local computer right now. It's not available to the web. Okay. That's what that means. Okay. All right. Now, um, that's pretty much a good overview of PyCharm. And now we're going to set up render.